We are going to power through this Orange Friday to talk about the biggest secret weapon of the season in football and back-to-back -back bedlams equal what is likely to be a very massive Saturday. You are Locked On Oklahoma State, your daily podcast on the Oklahoma State Cowboys, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Howdy, y'all, and hello, all. Welcome back to Locked On Oklahoma State, your daily stop for all things cowboy and cowgirl related. My name is Cody Stovall. I want to thank you kindly for stopping by to make this your first listen. You know we're available on all of your podcasting platforms, visually as well on YouTube. Find me personally on X at All Day O State. Today, we're personally brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment matter more with FanDuel because right now, New customers get 150 bucks back in bonus bets with any $5 or more winning bet. Make sure you get started today by going to FanDuel.com slash locked on. Today, we get to get started right off the gate with the idea of some secret weapons entering the season. Now, since we're kind of in the, the spring, right, we need to stick with a couple of guys that I think from the springtime on should at least be major weapons for bare minimum scout team. And then we'll talk about the secret weapon of the season that definitely won't be scout team. He will definitely be a major player in the season. Now, one of the first guys I think we need to bring up is going to be Iman Oates. I thought Iman Oates would have the potential last season to maybe carve out a nice little role for himself. But coming in at six foot three, 310 pound junior from Northeastern Oklahoma A&M and the Tulsa area, he's got everything you need, all the intangibles, the size, the strength, the speed, the, the hand discipline, the quickness, the hips. He just needs to, you know, work on a little bit of the technique and understanding how to utilize leverage to his best abilities. If he can do that, I think he'll be a secret weapon on this season. Another guy who could potentially help out because we're going to need some beef up the top. We all know Aiden Kelly should kind of be one of the next guys in line. Guys, I think we all need to keep an eye on what Jalen Tucker is able to do. Again, from a spring perspective, he should offer quite a bit at six foot two, 300 pounds from the Edmond Santa Fe area. I think he's somebody we need to keep an eye on, as is Ike Esunwun, the six foot two, 215 pound freshman. Well, uh, now he's going to be a sophomore from Austin, Texas. Guys, I love this kid's energy. He's the kid that comes in no matter what's happening in the locker room, no matter what's happening on the field. He will get you hyped up, pumped up. He loves the game of football more than most. And I think he's just designed to fit in precisely for what we do at Oklahoma State, which should allow him to have a very big year this upcoming season. Another one I think we should keep an eye on that's a young cat is going to be Taiwan Ray. Guys, you know, I raved on him last season simply because I thought he was an absolute steal. He was your prototypical high three-star, right, maybe a low four-star style of guy, traditionally speaking, coming from uh, Campbell High in Georgia. But he got overlooked. So we get to reap the benefits of getting Taiwan Ray. But when you come in already six foot two, 190 pounds, 185 ish pounds, and then you go through the body by glass system, let's say you can get up to the 200 pound range and you have the, the speed that he has. He has the, the hips that naturally should transition to this level without a whole lot of effort. Yeah. But so those are some guys that I think we should absolutely 100%, no doubt keep an eye on but i want to talk about the weapon that nobody else is going to be talking about which is absolutely ridiculous to me and that is going to be the punter from down under the ambidextrous aussie weapon this is what he is right just because he's designated as a punter i think obviously people overlook or maybe underlook or underappreciate what he can do athletically we talked about this last season He's six foot one. He's over 200 pounds and he runs a four, six, 40. Not only that, I'm sure a lot of you have seen on Instagram and some of the other um, social media sites that he's doing a lot of trick shots of the season. So he's kicking balls off of the top of Boone picking stadium in the trash cans. He's in Gal Grab arena kicking, you know, to hit baskets. He's doing all this I, just for fun, realistically, right? Him and Zane like to run around and have a good time, but also, it's showcasing what he can do. 
Have you ever seen a kicker at Oklahoma State University that can roll right and roll left and kick with both feet effectively and then also have the ability to take off and go? And the beauty of it for Hudson Clark is he's not even worried about it. He's ready to take off. He's ready to do some of these things athletically that you don't traditionally see out of a punter. Right, Everybody loves what Pat McAfee was able to bring because of his tenacity and his athletic ability. It provided him some opportunities to take some dudes out. It also provided him some opportunities to take off and run with the ball if the defense was just clearly going to blinds and give open accessibility. We now have that. Right, Hudson is designed to do everything from an athletic standpoint, and he's almost the size and speed of a linebacker. Right Again, he's almost the size and speed of a daggone linebacker. He can roll right. He can roll left. He can punt up the middle. He can hit spots, kick in the cans. He can, uh, he's got videos of him kicking over his, whatever, over his head backwards. Athletically, I don't know that we've seen a, a punter this ready to do some things that are not normal. The riverboat gambler that was Les Miles. That guy could exist a little bit, Mike Gundy, like early on in Mike Gundy's career, because he has a weapon now to utilize in that department. Right? If you give somebody that's six foot one, 210 pounds, that's running a 4640, the green light to take off and he can do it, that adds a completely new layer. Right? I mean, tell me that in and of itself wouldn't help our return coverage units. The fact that athletically, everybody else on the other sidelines know good and tag on well that our kicker can take off. And if our kicker does take off, you're going to have a problem. It's not like he's just going to be able to, you know, go pick up a yard or two. If Hudson Cock gets rocking and rolling down the football field, he's not going to be the easiest in the world to touch and or tackle. Vice versa, on the other side of the field, if you're a returner, Hudson wants you. I mean, he doesn't want you to blow past his guys, of course. Absolutely not. All right. But if you do, trust and believe he's going to utilize his ability to, to help the sideline be an extra defender, and he's going to do everything in his power to hook you up and light you up out of bounds. So, again, he's not just a punter. He's not just a punter from down under that comes with a Tom Hutton level of skill set. He's a punter that has the athletic ability to play a multitude of positions at the collegiate level. Hudson Cock is a massive weapon that we need to get absolutely pumped up and excited for because we haven't seen this, I don't know, since what? Since Zach Robinson was here, we had a uh, we had some pretty quality, pretty quality fellows back then, right? But I cannot wait. I cannot wait for other teams to underestimate what our punter can do. And then I also cannot wait for our coaching staff to be able to kind of open Pandora's box a little bit and give them the green light because every special teams coach in the country does like having a little bit of gad abilities. And you know what? Guess who's coaching the special teams? The coverage and stuff, that's all Gundy. So now if Gundy can take a little bit of the riverboat gambler he had with him when he was coaching under Miles and when he first started out at Oklahoma State, and you can now give it to somebody who's a certified, classified, maybe even it should be designated as one of the biggest weapons on the field. That's I, Yeah, he's a punter. I get it. But that's huge. That's absolutely huge. And that would be big for... Hudson, just as much as it would be big for Oklahoma State, just as much as it would greatly help Mike Gundy. All right. Uh, another big help, right? We've, we've had several discussions in regards to economically how things are getting kind of wild, and it's making life obviously significantly more difficult. Guys, you have to go check out Ibotta, right? Ibotta is an app that, you know, whether it be grocery bills or whatever that's so expensive, you can get cash back on your grocery shopping with free Ibotta app. And you get cash back every single time you shop. So if you enjoy making some money, but also love spending money at the same time, um, well, you know, <laughs> this is going to be the ticket for you. 
You can make money while spending money every single top every single time with Ibotta. If spring break has you concerned, well, don't worry about it. The shopping side of things is going to get much easier for you right now. Make sure you're getting cash back every time you go shopping with Ibotta. It's a free app that gives you the most cash back every single time you shop on hundreds of items from groceries to beauty supplies and toys. So make sure that you're beating inflation no matter what you're trying to purchase. The average Ibotta user gets 256 bucks in earnings a year. Now that could cover the cost of an entire shopping trip. You can buy that right now. And no matter what the game time is, you're good to go because you're making money back. Other apps, you get points that don't amount to much. With Ibotta, just add the offers in the app, load the receipt, and you get real cash that you can then cash out to your bank account, PayPal, or even gift cards. Join the over 50 million users and earn cash back every single time you shop with 2,700 brands and retailers, including Lowe's, Macy's, Sephora, Best Buy, and more. Over 2,700 brands for you to choose from. So right now, Ibotta is going to offer our listeners $5 just for trying Ibotta and using the code Locked On College when you register. Just go to the App Store or Google Play and download the free Ibotta app and start earning Cash back and use the code locked on college. That's Ibotta, I B O T T A, in the Google Play or App Store. And you can use the code locked on college today. So, today on Orange on Friday, we get to again discuss a two time, two trip Bedlam Saturday. Now, it sets up for a, a much, much bigger Saturday, of course, but. Why is this important? Well, for the women's basketball program, getting this W definitely gives you at least a breathing chance to get into the Big 12 tournament, make some noise, and maybe get yourself rocking and rolling down the road in the NCAA tournament. It's going to be a very, very steep hill to climb, but it is a possibility, right? Now, from the men's side, Mike Boynton, you could say he's coaching for his job. You could say that these last two wins maybe have given people a little bit of something um, to, to kind of hold on to. The one that we've been wanting ever since the losing streak began was this one, this bedlam. Just because you don't want to let them leave with the bragging rights, right? You also don't want to – what they did in their last bedlam W in basketball, running around the arena like they won the daggone national title – that should be somewhat embarrassing for them, but it's also slightly embarrassing for us because they are little brother in basketball. So no matter how down of a season we're having, this is an opportunity to prove to them once again that they are little brother in basketball, and even on their way out the door, that ain't going to change. It would be beautiful to beat them here and then get even more redemption. Maybe we can somehow play them in the Big 12 tournament. Oh, wait. Well, you know what? We might even not be playing to get to the Big 12 tournament, which is fine. To some degree, you get this W and you're good. Women's, you're still playing for a lot of things, so this W is massive for you. Men's, I would say it's equally as massive because it gets you a little bit of a winning streak, gets you a little bit of uh, camaraderie going again in the locker room to at least sustain everybody that we currently have to see what the next season could possibly be. Uh, and you know what? The beauty of this back-to-back -back Bedlam action is it can make a statement, of course. But a bigger statement could possibly even be said to be made in you know, a multitude of other sports, right? In today's age of what we're doing in college basketball, it is imperative that you have some positive trajectory because you're not going to get an uptick of NIL just like you're not getting a, an uptick of you know massive transfers if you're at least not able to sell the fact that you can be a winner. We haven't been able to sell that for quite some time. And Mike Boynton may have some ability here in February now to kind of pitch. The youth of the roster was a problem. I still think that the coaching is a big problem too. Yeah, sure. But you got to hold on to something that is, in fact, positive as you look forward to the progression of the future seasons. So, yeah, it's, it's imperative that we kind of get this one done. Just like it's imperative for you to real quick – Pay attention to Fandle. Download Fandle. Just because football season's out doesn't mean we don't need to get excited about making bucks while basketball teams are out here making buckets for us. Because right now, you already know, 
you get a hundred and fifty bucks back on FanDuel with any five dollar or more winning bet. All you gotta do is download the app and get rocking and rolling today, because it's America's number one sportsbook betting partner for a reason. Before you get your hundred fifty bucks back after your five dollar or more winning bet rolls in. You can take a gander at more things to bet on because you all know in NBA seasons, you can bet on the NBA players or your favorite NBA teams, whether it be quick bets, same game parlays, exclusive player props, the overs, the unders, who's going to make the next buckets or win the game entirely and much more. Get your 150 bucks back in bonus bets opportunity with any $5 winning bet by going to Fandle.com slash locked on. Shoot your next shot. Make sure it's your best shot with Fandle the official sportsbook partner of the NBA. See, we're just uh, going to keep cruising right along here as we break into what else this massive Saturday means. Other than basketball, other than just, right, restoring some of the craziness that should be and could be Gallagher eyeball on a year-to-year basis. Guys, baseball is going to be big for us this weekend, right? And when you get the number two team in the country as your nightcap, how could you not be happier than that as we get to take on Arkansas in Arlington, Texas, a place where we typically have a decent amount of success any daggone ways. Of course, you already know about the Bedlam men's basketball game that will come up after the women's basketball game. And then you know what? Women's tennis, we're going to stay hot on the trail here as we get to play our inspiration in 1890. Princeton, right? The orange and black kitty cats get to get some of our women's tennis squad. Softball, you just had some get right. We're going to continue to get right today, but Saturday, aka tomorrow, we get to take on Pitt. We also get to take on Leola, and we have the indoor Big 12 championships. That's important because we're good enough to do the daggone thing. We're good enough to win the daggone thing. I cannot wait for tomorrow. Because this Saturday slate is massive. It could be an opportunity to hoist a trophy or at least put ourselves in position to score enough points to hoist a trophy in track and field, which is a possibility. We have the greatest wrestling that you could physically possibly want coming up against Iowa. Softball, you made the doubters realize that they were just flat out wrong with what you were able to do to Washington. And this was the same Washington squad that should have beat OU. I know should have, could have, would have, just like we should have, could have, would have beat LSU. But that Washington softball team should have beat OU. They were winning the in, most of the game, right? OU did what they do, and they had some fun stuff happen at the very, very end to get them a W. Although I would still say it was pretty controversial. There was a couple of those those outs that were called that, I don't know, didn't really look uh, 100% on the right uh, level playing field. But nonetheless, that's a massive win for Cowgirl softball. It does, in fact, make, make up for the loss against LSU. Now, we got to chip away to make up for the loss against Georgia. We can continue to do that with multiple Ws mo- both today and tomorrow. But I cannot wait for this crazy slate that's coming. Orange on Friday. Get fired up, get pumped up, go holler at your boy Hudson Cock, the secret weapon of 2024. Get pumped up, get fired up, throw your orange on for these back-to-back Bedlam basketball games and what is obviously a massive Saturday in general. All right, y'all, that's how you power through. That's how you get this thing up on its toes and prepare you for Saturday. You know I love you. As always, God bless. Go Pokes. Thank you very much for tuning in to make this your first listen. Here in Locked On, Oklahoma State, you could be anywhere. I'm so happy that you choose to be here. Like it if you like the daggone thing. Dislike it if you don't because that's okay too. Sharing is caring. Comment, subscribe, my podcast, and people, the bricks, the foundation. You're the crew. Leave the reviews. Hit the stars. Do what you do. That's all we got. You know the drill. I'm going to hit you with the later, followed with the tater. All right, y'all.